Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. This is actually a timeless collective reading for the sign of Capricorn. I'm being completely honest. I I was looking at these cards myself, but something here very spiritually profound is what I'm sensing here. Just as in the previous reading, I was picking up on um, the offering made to a specific, um, I guess, I don't, I'm assuming that this is a deity, an Orisha or something like that. It, the name was Alegba. But I, it, this is a part two. Okay. I have the Knight of Swords that came out first and then the Star. The Lovers and then the Temperance card. All right. Here's the Knight of Swords. Someone has protection around them. As I mentioned before, you have this star energy. Someone is fully in their life purpose, this love and light energy. They've they've um, not only been called into mission and purpose, but they have accepted the call um, as an earth angel. This could be an earth angel who also could be a twin flame. I don't really want to focus too much on like the twin flame as far as another person. This has a lot to do with someone's just their calling. You have this emperor in this deck. This emperor looks very angry. And they look like they're not someone that you should play with. Okay. Then we have the king of cups. And then the will of fortune shattered. Somebody here is disappointed. Like I said, this is a part two. You can go back and look at the reading that I just posted. I think I titled it something about the offering at the crossroads was not accepted, whatever. Um, somebody made an offering to block someone's path, their purpose. I keep hearing to trap someone's soul, okay? This is the kind of thing that Satanists will do. They will go in the spirit and try to bind your soul um, to try and trap you some way so that they can attack you, they can steal from you, try to destiny swap with you, cause delays or whatever. Someone was not prepared for this backfire that has happened. But the star is being clarified with this page of wands. Now, usually when I see this page of wands, I see an energy of... Um, someone being very mischievous, um, immature. But what I feel is that with this star energy, this could be you or someone that you know. This is a divine being who is being protected heavily because they have this childlike energy. Okay. Someone is focusing with the rabbit here on fertility, abundance. They're moving around. They're shaking. They're not staying in any type of stagnant energy for too long. And it's allowing them to shake, like shake any type of ill will, bad intentions, evil eye, whatever off of them. And it's because of this person's great ascension. Someone is very much tempered and balanced. Now, the lovers was clarified with this strength card. We are in Leo season. Something is happening in Leo season. There is this um, major shift, this awakening or whatever that's happening right now. And it does have a lot to do with divine contracts, soulmates, twin flames, just soul purpose. This is where it started getting a little weird. And I honestly, I was like, I'm not going to post this reading. Um, I keep a lot of readings just to myself because sometimes it's just not the right time to post them. This temperance card here is being clarified with the justice card. And then all these cards, the king of wands and the king of swords. This could be a divine masculine energy that I'm picking up on. I feel strongly because in the previous reading, it was obvious that someone was trying to block a twin flame connection. 
I feel like this is a, a divine feminine who's awakening. This is a, a um, divine masculine who is awakening. I, I'm not going to say awakening. I'll just say they're being upgraded because they're already awakened. But this earth angel energy here, this king of wands, king of swords, justice, this person has the authority. And I mentioned before, like this Osiris energy, this person has the authority to call shots whenever, however they want in the spirit. And I said that someone may not, I don't know if this person knows who they are just yet in spirit, but they're about to quickly find out. This emperor here came out with the hangman in the reverse. There is like a an angel, a guide, an ascended master or someone who with this hangman in the reverse, someone is being introduced to a new spirit guide. This could be a passed on loved one, an ancestor, or whomever. But this is where things get crazy. I feel like somebody made an offering because the Wheel of Fortune is in the reverse. Before I was talking about the graveyard magic, the, the jar spells, and then someone making an offering at the crossroads to Allegba, which is, um, I guess, Satan in like West African tradition or whatever. I, how, I, don't, I don't know how all of that works, but I don't know. Someone maybe um, worships, you know, Orishas or however that, that goes. But here what I feel strongly is that somebody not only made an offering to this spirit at the crossroads to block you, they also made an offering to try to block your protection. But it looks like you have made an offering or said a prayer or something that stop this attack. It's something that you may have done that stopped this attack or your spiritual team was just fully aware that this was happening and they made sure that they stepped in to block this. And whoever sent this attack out, they're devastated. They're completely devastated. There's a person out here who knows for a sure fact, and I feel like it could be a divine feminine or masculine but somebody knows that there has been some type of darkness or an illusion placed over a queen of cups, possibly a divine feminine. Okay. Heavy cancer energy out here because I have the moon and the chariot. There is a cancer somewhere here involved. Now, cancer may not be this person's sun sign, but they have it somewhere heavily aspected in their chart. I feel like this person did something in the dark. They either did some type of magic or they paid someone some type of magic to create an illusion so that someone would not move forward, possibly into a relationship. So this could be someone's ex. This situation here was quickly, it was stopped. Whoever this emperor is here, someone has spiritual protection from a very high ranking like ancestor this could be a past on loved one a father figure this person has been watching you but maybe you haven't been directly connected to this person i'm picking up a lot this person could have this person could have been stuck Like their, their soul could have been stuck. This person could have passed on, but like maybe they haven't gotten fully through like their judgment or whatever. I did a reading a few days ago where I was talking about close your soul gate portal. I feel like somebody could have tried to trap your soul or something. But somehow in that portal, because somebody has tried to open up a portal or something like that, they themselves got trapped because in wherever they were trying to trap you, there is protection there for you. I hope that makes sense. Somebody 
try to trap you in something dark, not knowing that maybe through your bloodline or something like that, you have an alliance already with something dark. That doesn't mean that you practice anything dark at all, but it's in your bloodline. It's what I'm getting. It's like you have goons and goblins in your bloodline that have already passed certain tests and built and created alliances even with various um spirits, demons and entities in the underworld in in darkness that will stand firmly in protecting you just like the angels do. Somebody most likely thought that because you were love and light and jovial and sweet and cute or whatever, they thought that you were naive, you were immature, you were gullible. Even if you are, what they didn't know about was <laughs> the loyalty that your ancestors have to you and the alliances that your ancestors have built and created with the same entities and deities or whomever or whatever that these people are sending out to you. So whoever resonates, it's like you've unlocked something. And I spoke before about like the Osiris. There's something in the underworld. There's something you most likely... This is definitely a part two to the other reading. Because I was, I was making reference to the glasses breaking. And I said, it's something here. You can't go around it. You have to go through it. You have to confront it. Um, something that you could be thinking is, is bad, you have to face it. Some of you could be thinking that even like, all things that are dark or like, to be honest, like demons or deities, like it's bad. There's a good and a bad to anything. There are different, for some of you, literally, there are agents of the devil who have been sent to attack you who now respect you and are protecting you. This is understanding Again, like I said, it's, everything is not about twin flame as in a partnership. It's also about your divine union within self of understanding the shadow aspects of you. Even when it comes to your ancestors, your lineage, your bloodline. Everyone in your family, in your bloodline is not love and light. And it feels to me, based on what I see here, something has been unlocked. Now that you're not looking at only love and light and you can see the shadow aspect of things, it's making me think right now of if you've seen Harry Potter. I just watched Harry Potter for the first time in like the last month or two. And I, I, I actually watched all of them. I think I watched all of them. But maybe it was like the fifth or sixth one or something like that he could hear the thoughts of the dark wizard that was constantly trying to sacrifice him. And I, for him to defeat it, that I remember his friend saying, you need to tap into it. Tap into it. You, you have a connection to it. Somebody out here, there's something within you, your family, bloodline, DNA, or something that you have either knowingly or unknowingly, consciously or unconsciously tapped into. And yes, it seems like it's dark. But it's, it, it's going to serve a purpose when you are battling darkness. So there's something here that could be seen as dark, but your intentions, when it comes to it, is different. So there's just like any kind of magic. 
some people have good intentions, some have bad. Maybe, excuse me, maybe you're a person and you see magic as a bad thing. You know, um, some people do protection work or whatever it is. Something here has changed in someone's energy where you're you're seeing something differently. You're tapping into something. And it's, it's really unlocking some type of power within you to defeat the enemies that come against you. Page of, what is it? Knight of Wands. Somebody came towards you with some magic. They did not know that you were so balanced. They did not know that you were a true earth angel. They they honestly didn't know or they did. And they still thought that it was, it was safe for them to do whatever they did. And this could be a masculine that did this. This is some type of karmic masculine warlock whomever this person thought that going after you this could be someone that you know someone that you may have once even loved this person thought that you were so naive and gullible and sweet or whatever but see even if you don't tap into anything dark you have an energy surrounding you that does not mind being very dark that's what i'm saying somebody around you thinks that you are very naive and gullible and therefore they're sending death towards you. This is death magic or something that they're doing. You're so protected though. You, you have people in your family. Look, your protection, it trumps the devil every time. Queen of Cups, you're at peace. You're free. You're liberated. You're happy. These attacks are coming towards you all because of an offer that's coming towards you. And this warlock is upset about it. Because they can't seem to understand why these attacks aren't working. Double cancer again. Moon and the chariot. Or... You know what? It's 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 so weird to me, but I feel like the meanings of my cards are changing like so quickly but in real time. Just like before, I lit I was seeing that um deity or whatever. I didn't know the name of it, but I was seeing it. Like I've I've heard people make reference to it. So I could figure out what to Google to call it, but I didn't know. This right here is not just cancer energy. You know what I'm saying here? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> wow, this is crazy. I ne I've never gotten this poor. This person, this doesn't have to be a cancer. Here's the moon card, queen of cups, and the cherry. There could be a person that's a cancer involved, yes. Because that's, that's all cancer energy. But either this cancer is astral traveling or someone else is painting illusions and they're astral traveling. Actually, this may, it could be a cancer, it doesn't have to be. Somebody has been masking themselves as you to astral travel or project. And they've been caught. That's why this moon and this chariot is here. This person at night has been astral traveling and projecting into your energetic field and doing a lot of really wicked stuff to spiritually attack you. They can't seem to understand how is it that with them cloaking themselves and doing all of this when you are in like a, a an unconscious state, how is it that you're still catching them? This person does not understand. It, this King of Cups, now, the the moon, you know, could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It could be any water energy for sure. This person could have moon. They, their moon sign could be in water. So they could have like a Pisces or Cancer moon or even Scorpio. 
this person travels in the night spiritually. Wow. This person is visiting you in your dreams. Or they're still in your dreams. They're getting information about you when you're in an unconscious state. Like when you're sleeping. And they don't understand how is it that if they're stealing all of your dreams and they're astral traveling, if you can't see them, you can't hear them, how exactly then do you know to protect yourself against them? This person is very upset right now because you're dealing with an extremely powerful like wizard or warlock. And I feel like what this person has mastered is cloaking. And it brings me back to a reading I did. This person is teleporting. They're teleporting. They're cloaking themselves. They're astral traveling and projecting. And it works. They can't believe that you're able to see this. And some of you, maybe you haven't spiritually advanced to the point where you can see it and recognize it, but you have someone or something protecting you to ensure that this person is not successful at stealing from you again because this Queen of Pentacles is here. So... This person is making offerings to different trickster energies. They're using them to get them to different places. They need the energy. Yeah, this person is doing something with uh, spirits. They will experience an ending, though, and a fall from grace for doing this. Going back to Harry Potter again, Harry Potter, they had, um, I guess, like, I like the little goblins or whatever that were their servants, right? And I remember a clip where Harry Potter, like, you could, you could tell the little goblin to to take you to a different place so in other words i would think that that will sort of represent like a familiar or something like that this person is using some type of spirit to do their their work for them to teleport them to different places it is sending out an energy to do work for this person it, it's like this person is using energy to manifest familiars and and doppelgangers. That's another reason for the moon energy here. It's like a doppelganger energy. This is someone who wants to be in more than one place at a time. They want some type of parallel universe and they're trying to be in your universe and, and but they're actually in theirs. So to be in two places at one time to control wherever they are, but to also control your life, this person is, is making these offerings to gain these I guess like familiars. That they've made alliances. It's really showing me like Harry Potter. I think that the little goblin thing or whatever his name was Davi. Dobby had a different master, but Harry Potter was nice to him. That Dobby, once he was freed from whoever had been dictating and controlling him and mistreating him, he 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 died saving Harry Potter. He he made Harry Potter his master. So going back to what I said, some of you Because of your love and your light, because you have spared someone, 
that you could have been hateful towards, that person feels like they owe you a favor in the spirit. So it could be an ancestor even. They're like, well, you came in and you freed us. So whenever you're in danger, they're going to be loyal to you. This is a spirit. That's why all this death energy is out. This, this person is not, whoever is protecting you, they're not here in the physical right now. This is someone who has already transitioned most likely, but because of the work you're doing here, and I feel like it's someone in your family, your bloodline, because of the work that you're doing, your family, your ancestors, the spirit guy, they're coming in and they're saying, whenever you have trouble, we will handle that. And they may not be all love and light. So somebody's attack on you has actually pushed you now into yet another like upgrade and ascension. Um, someone has been using spirit, like I said, spirits. They've been using spirits to send out doppelgangers and like familiars. They're, they're doing their dirty work with these spirits. They're sending energies towards you, your home, your car, or whatever to cause this chaos. Somebody here could also be connected like to fairies. These are a lot of trickster spirits. This, somebody loves playing around with trickster spirits, fairies, um, stuff like that. But see, you have people in your, your family and your bloodline wherever they are, perhaps in the afterlife, or they're ranking trumps, whatever that is. So when these people are sending these dark energies towards you, it's automatically sent back. It's like you, you truly are chosen. I'm like, do you know who you just sent that to? Do you, do you know who you sent that attack to? People don't know who you are. They don't know who... Who you are in spirit, your spiritual, they don't know your family, your, 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 they just, it's a lot about you that is concealed, it's hidden. See, look, somebody is shocked. Somebody is very shocked right now. Like, how on earth did this happen? This person can't believe this. Because I feel like somebody has, has sent their absolute best out to try to defeat you. The highest ranking demon. And yet you still. This is Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael has laid some type of entity out. It cannot survive. So you already, you're in this angelic realm, this, this upgrade that you've experienced. Somebody is still trying to attack you thinking that like they can fight. And I keep, you're not even in the same realm, dimension, universe. Like you're somewhere else. <laughs> Enjoying sunflowers, eating cherries, grapes, and berries. Like. You know, it's like when people talk about heaven, it's like where you are, it, it's gold paved streets. <laughs> if you see this queen of wands, you don't see her sitting on any type of throne. She's out in, in the garden. Meaning right now, you're already out in your purpose. You're you're not sitting there just with a th You're out in your purpose, but you, you better believe that if she's out there like that, she's very much protected. This also means that wherever you are, you're safe. <sighs> because you're the divine feminine, you're the empress. There's an energy that you have of fertility, of abundance. There is so much protection around you because you've been planted here, placed here. You were created to create something. So... I feel like spirit is saying, God is saying, I need for you to be at peace. 
And any person that comes between you and your peace, which then blocks your purpose, they will quickly be destroyed. And this King of Pentacles person is like, I don't understand. They'll never, this person thought that you were up for grabs, that they could do to you what they do to everyone. That they could, this, this person is a master illusionist. They thought that they could do this, but see, you've healed. And you are a healer. This person, no matter what, they should have thought twice about this, trying to create this illusion, but they didn't. They didn't. They went for it. They've done this to you in the past. They did it again. This time, it, it definitely will not. This time, they came up against a high priestess who has tapped into a lot of sacred wisdom and knowledge. Either they've done this to you before or they've done this to other people. And when they did it to you now, look, high priestess again. You see this high priestess is here. This, this high priestess has information. This high priestess is looking behind this veil. Your energy has shifted. It has upgraded so that no... This will not work. And not only that, it's like you have this divine masculine energy around you as well. You have double high priestess and the sun out here with the hermit. Divine feminines and, and masculines have gone within and have discovered who they are. Somebody has been praying, show me God who, who I am, why am I, and the truth is being revealed to you. And therefore, your enemies are being revealed and they are being taken out. Because now that you know the truth of who you are, that means that you have no choice but to actually get into formation. I think that literally my... um, Hold on. I'm sorry, guys. One second. It said so. My um in my Bible app, <laughs> today's um scripture was James one um chapter one verse twenty two through twenty four, and it says, "But be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves." For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man observing his natural face in a mirror. For he observes himself, goes away, and immediately forgets what kind of man he was. Well, again, this is about now, you can't just say I'm a high priestess, you have to act as such. You can't just say you're a hermit. No, you have to go out in the world and be this 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 sun being you, you can't hide your truth and so the people who are trying to make you hide who you are and stop you from doing what god has called you to do it's it's over and it's done because you already you know your assignment you know your assignment so the bully that you're running into they they have to go Somebody is, like I said, again, with the moon, just like what I just read, somebody here wants you to look in the mirror and not see who you actually are. And their main focus is watching your connection. Their main focus is trying to see who you are, why you are who you are, why have you been given this contract and someone does not want you to go into this divine union? Because you're the high priestess who can see behind the veil and you're connecting with this like sun god. Someone has been studying you and this person. They've been studying your connection with another divine being. 
And they keep making these offerings and they keep doing all of this high level black magic. Creating these illusions. But it's over. The world is here. This is over. And it is indeed this King of Pentacles person. The sun, the world, again, and the emperor. You have a divine protector. So really what this is, is um, you now have successfully gotten out of your south node. You're meeting a new spirit guide, an ancestor, an angel that is now going to be. A, so it's like you were assigned these different of spiritual beings, your spiritual team that were helping you and assisting you on your south node. Now that you're in your north node, you have this new spiritual contract, divine con this divine contract for some of you, even a divine partner. You have a new spirit guide, an angel, a, a, an ancestor, an ascended master, a protector. Now that your ranking has gone up, so has the, the ranking of those who protect you. Because like someone told me a few days ago, like I, we always say new levels, new devils. Where you're going, you're going to have to be able to handle more. Your spiritual protection is being beefed up. It's being increased. Somebody didn't know that. There, there's, there's, there's a, a, a protector here. There's like what? You know, it's like, it's like you, you go viral and you become an overnight success. Well, the first, the first thing that's gonna be on payroll should be security. Somebody wasn't prepared to run into this bodyguard, this angel, this ancestor, this, they were not prepared to run into this person. So they sent this, they sent their familiars out, they sent these spirits out, they sent the monitoring spirits out, um, the doppelgangers and all of that. You you have to go through all of that, but now seeing your North Node, like I said, see, this is, this is happiness over here. It's like the tools, the resources, the weapons, and everything of your spiritual team. Oh, it's 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 way more, way bigger, much more extravagant than what you had before. And somebody wasn't prepared for that. <laughs> they had no idea. You have this King of Cups here. And then the tower, King of Pentacles. This, to me, I feel like this is a different part. This is a different masculine. Because look, we have the King of Cups over here that's in the reverse that did all of this. You have a King of Pentacles, a King of Cups that's in the upright here, the Magician. You have a counterfeit out here that's been doing all of this stuff against you. The person who is actually supposed to be in your life they're coming in to help clean up this mess that this person from your past has 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 created. Oh, why do these cards keep flipping over like this? Yeah, that makes sense. The Hierophant, the Knight of Pentacles. Here's the Queen of Pentacles here and the Star. Somebody did all of this to make sure that an offer didn't come your way. And the offer is still coming your way because it's being given to you by someone who is holy, someone who is noble, or it's being given to you from God himself. It came, it has to come in slowly, but it's still going to end up right in your lap because why? It's a part of destiny. And here's the queen of pentacles again. And you receiving this means that whoever this other person is, they have to be completely kicked out of your energy. For you to be the divine feminine. That's why I keep saying. Some of you guys. You, you don't realize. They're trying to hold on to this person. That's always in and out of your life. This very arrogant stubborn person. That only wants your energy. It's not doing anything. But blocking your blessing. That's coming directly from God. That's it. That's, that's all it's doing. So whoever this. Wizard, this warlock, this master illusionist is that wants all of this domination and control. Every single re reading that I've been I've done today 
is shedding light on the fact that this person and you know what's interesting the last reading i did i had a phone call this reading i have a phone call you're going to receive like a, a message a call a text there's going to be confirmation very soon that this person has truly been like caught and like i said this person I forgot what the name of the thing was called in um, Harry Potter. But somehow the wizard that Harry Potter was going up against had done something to to like break up his soul so that it would be in like seven different places. Like I said before, this is somebody who loves playing around with energy they want to be in a lot of different places they I, I feel this person does a lot for sure with like astral traveling and projecting teleporting they're tapping into a lot of high level magic that many will say of course is it's like forbidden magic it's they're a master at this and they thought that they could defeat you but see this person is dark light and love always trumps anything dark if you even think about harry potter everybody was like well harry potter had kind of been marked by the beast and they were just like but why is he so powerful why is he why do, why do they treat him like he's a celebrity at at, at hogwarts at the school he had simply been born chosen. And he was the only person who could slay that dark wizard. He didn't even know his own power. He learned it along the way. That's how a lot of you are. You don't know that you possess this type of power. You're learning about it as you go through these obstacles and challenges and these spiritual and psychic attacks but what you need to know and remember is that you are indeed the one who was chosen the bottom of the deck here we have behind the scenes there's a lot going on behind the scenes but something here has come to a complete end and the information may leave you shook there's blockages and obstacles here but spirit is saying for you to just relax why You've already been hired. You have the new contract, the new job. There are signs and symbols that you're receiving about a toxic family dynamic, a lot of codependency. You're needing to purify and cleanse your energy. Take time out to self-reflect and just manifest. Whoever this person is who thought that they could play around with the dead, they could have done something around Halloween of last year, they will not be leveling up. They were planning to upgrade using all these different dark spirits. They were planning to upgrade. No. This person is not thankful for anything. This person could have Libra and Scorpio in their chart. And they could have done something around Libra season, around Halloween or Libra season or Scorpio Thanksgiving season. So I'm going to say, yeah, October, November, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius could be significant. But it says here, this phase will soon end. Cleanse your space. Someone wants you stuck in the past because they see that you're in your life purpose and they were really trying to hide your truth from you. This could even be someone in your family for some of you, unfortunately. And they now want your forgiveness. Because someone who actually has romantic thoughts about you could be a scorned lover. They've been competing with you trying to be like you. Or they've been trying to make someone in their life be your copycat, look like you, talk like you, whatever. It's because this person has a lot of submerged emotions. 
someone's love for you has turned into pure hatred. And they're upset because perhaps you're guarded. You don't want to sleep with this person, be with them or whatever. So they're constantly having fantasies about you, trying to figure out how can they copy you or they're looking for your replacement. This person was a catfish. They were never who you thought they were. They purposely had you confused and they wanted you to be at your breaking point. Christmas could be significant. Hopefully by this Christmas you're celebrating and you don't have to continue to proceed with caution and live in fear or be paranoid. Because hopefully this person will be arrested for doing all of this black magic. They've been studying a lot of occult things because something is wrong with them mentally. This person is sick. Um... I don't know what else to say. I'm just going to pull from this little deck and I'm going to, yeah. Somebody tried to steal something, but your cool, calm, collected, tempered energy, it transmuted this. It blocked whatever their attempt was to rob you once again. <laughs> yeah, because you are in this energy of self-love, healing. So it blocked this. They do everything, yeah. Ooh. For some of you, this is your family. For some of you, your family is very proud of you. And your ancestors, your spiritual team, your ancestors, your family. They're they're assisting you. So let me say this to you. For some of you, like a lot of divine beings, those who are chosen, you may be the black sheep in your family. I kept saying before how sometimes what we think is so dark, we try to move away from it so much. Some of you, there has been deception and betrayal and other things in your family. Maybe you feel like the people in your family are egotistical, narcissistic, codependent. You feel like maybe people in your family are toxic. But the protection that you have is coming from your family. You may want to make sure that when you finish judging your family, because maybe they have sort of casted you out in some way, you still have ancestors, DNA, blood from your family. That is the reason why you're able to experience peace. I had a lot of reasons in the past where I was talking about like the Achilles heel. The thing that you think makes you weak, for some of you, it could be your family. It's actually one of your greatest strengths. Because you have ancestors who take great pride in knowing that you are chosen. Family, pride, luck. They'll do whatever it takes to bring you peace. Now, this may not be your immediate family that's around you right now for some of you, but your ancestors, your bloodline, your lineage is full of high-ranking beings that are like ascending masters. They're making sure that you are rewarded for whatever you've done for your family. So you've broken something off of your family. You guys have battled some type of demon that has been haunting and harassing your family for a long time. And it's a demon here that has been blocking marriage in the family. If marriage is being blocked in the family, then that means that the family tree is not growing. And your family is very glad that for some of you, <laughs> to be honest, 
that you weren't so prideful and stubborn like other people in your family. And perhaps you got into spirituality, loving yourself, and now there's a blessing ahead. Because you were able to withdraw. You separated yourself from something that was going to hurt you. So I have a lot of reasons why I've said for a lot of you, you have a karmic partner. Your contract to this person came through abandonment, rejection, or something else because of a situation in your family. By you healing your family issues, the wound that this person was using as the access point or the portal to attack you has been closed. So instead of you being mad and angry at your parents or your family, your children or whatever, when you start to forgive those people, the enemies who have been attacking you because of your open wounds, and, and they've been using your the sins and the iniquities of you, your fr your family, your ancestors against you. They don't have anything to latch on to now. Wow. So their goal of trying to steal your purpose. Has been destroyed. And a lot of you, you have a huge purpose of being married and creating a family so that you bring some type of happiness, good health, and abundance to somehow change the family tree. This is like major. Somebody was trying to stop that. This is some type of entity in your bloodline. And I feel like you've been fighting. And whoever, <laughs> your family, your ancestors, your guys, they're like, you did good. You did good. They're protecting you. This is so much bigger than what a lot of people think. A lot of people are all the karma. You know. No, some of you literally, you have a responsibility to grow a family tree and to break generational curses and have a real legacy. I'm hearing death before dishonor. Somebody was trying to make you sick. Somebody, especially like if you do anything spiritual, that high priestess energy, somebody wanted you to stop seeking the truth. They wanted you to quit and stop trying to be in your life purpose, stop growing, stop ascending, so that it would be easier for them to make you weak so that they could rob you of something. This is why these people have been using all of these, making these offerings to these deities and doing all of this black magic and graveyard magic. They were trying to put a death to your life purpose. Some of you in your family, there hasn't been successful marriages, children. There hasn't been any type of luck. People in your family may not be, they may not have the highest self-esteem or self-worth. They're not creating a healthy, happy families. There, there aren't peaceful, harmonious marriages. But you, because you did not allow this entity to get the best of you. Instead, you chose to love yourself. You're receiving this blessing. You're receiving these spiritual gifts and these downloads, but you were able to break free of whoever or whatever this entity was that was trying to block you. Your family is saying you're the last of our dying breed. You, you, you have to get through this in order to carry on your lineage, your legacy. Excuse me. But this entity was really trying to destroy you. What did I say before? You've been offered help. 
it's the alliance. Your family is supporting you. They're making sure that you survive any type of attacks. Because we merit making. They know that you are a good, faithful, humble servant to God and to your family and your bloodline. So when they realized that somebody was trying to trap you and sacrifice, look, this is a divine masculine being trapped. This is a divine feminine being sacrificed. When they realized that someone was trying to trap you, trap a connection that everyone is hoping that you will have. This is a contract. It's a stable contract here between a feminine and a masculine. Something reservation that you've, you've been trying to manifest for a long time. It says desire, worth, extravagance. This is like the amazing blessing that your family has been waiting on someone to have. Somebody was planning to come in and steal this. And they had the great idea that they will work with the deity, make an offering to, to the devil to stress you out, have you overwhelmed and spiritually blind, homeless, unable to move forward. But they're saying, no, you stay calm. Don't worry. You keep on your, on your path. We know who's bullying you. And now, whoever tries to curse you and cause you accidents, they're frightened. Because the connection between you and someone else and the plan that you're supposed to have to expand your family tree with a business, a child, or whatever, is happening. And the person who, from your past, has been trying to battle you to block this because they were contracted with the entity that's in your family to do this against you. They're in deep sorrow. They, they, they didn't win. Wow. This is a really, 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 really powerful reading. This is a bloodline entity that was using like a counterfeit lover to attack you. But you have such an important purpose. You're like the family liaison. And again, what's so interesting is like I was talking about in Harry Potter. Dobby, the little, I, th I guess he was like a little goblin or something. You have um, ancestor spirit guys, but you also, you could have a spirit animal. There's a spirit. There's an energy though that is very loyal to you. Your spiritual team has assigned something to you. And here's the number eight. It's a gift. We're going into the month of August. You could be 36. You could be between the age of 36 I have 44, 50, 163. You, you could be any age. You could be the age, between the age of 27 and 75. <laughs> but you have an alliance. You have... Um, you've been aligned for a gift. You're ready for it now. Because you fought so hard for it. You always had dreams and visions of this. And yet you had some nightmares suffering along the way. But it was so that you can live and learn about discerning when people are coming in wearing a mask only to trap you. Somebody thought there was that thought that because you are an introvert that you wouldn't be able to persevere and get over this. It's someone very greedy, overindulged, 
And now they have evidence. That the best has been saved for last. And they're angry. Wow. The last of a dying breed. And the, the best was saved for last. And that's you. Your gift and whatever your gift brings. And you literally have gotten like a whole. It's like a. 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 An army of, of literally angels and demons that are helping you. Somebody put so much energy into attacking you. They did you the, the biggest favor. Because it was all transmuted into just love, life, wealth, abundance. And where you are now... That's like if somebody listens to this reading because I can see it in my mind's eye. Somebody's like, oh, I'll go and fix that. No, you won't. You can't. Somebody is untouchable now. Somebody wants to listen to, oh, this person thinks that, that they're going to move forward. I'll just do another spell. There's no, the spells, they, they'll never work. Because whatever the magic was originally latching on to, it's not there anymore. The portal has been closed. Really, this is a message about forgiveness and healing. Someone has finally forgiven their parents or their family, healed some type of childhood wound. So whoever these blood-sucking energy vampires are that have been trying to attack you because of something in your past or they found something in your Akasha records or whatever, they can't do it anymore because the wound is closed. So... There is no blood of yours for them to, to take. These vampires will starve without blood. You don't have open wounds anymore. Because you've actually healed yourself and your family issues. Wow. This is... Yeah. And you're going to be the privileged lady in your own house. Main male, privileged lady, <laughs> pathway, wealthy man, sudden wealth and official person, a journey, and then the lovers. There you have it. What else is there to say? The main male is becoming the wealthy man. You and this person will have security and stability together. The wealthy man and the privileged lady, they are a couple. They are a pair. Okay. There's an official person. You and this person are going to be on a journey. This official person, this literally could be whoever is going to marry you and this, this, this person, this lover, this counterpart. When this union happens, there's going to be a lot of sudden wealth to come about because it's a part of your divine contract. You and this person have been on the same twin flame journey together. We have 10, 11... Hold on, 10, 10, journey, 11 to sudden wealth, 12, privileged lady, 13, the wealthy man. I don't have 14, but we skip to the lovers. These two people are choosing one another to have a house that will become a home together. You guys are official people. You This will move into marriage. And you will be on a divine contract, a, a spiritual journey together. Toil and labor. Someone was always thinking about how to ruin your chances of having a family. Somebody may have known that you had problems with your family. They knew your pain point and they used it against you. Occupation, courthouse, child, mature man, poverty. And this could be someone who has a family. They're going to face despair. This person, their children, their family, they, they've hexed and cursed their entire bloodline. They're going to be cursed with nothing but despair. Disease, disharmony, destruction, death, despair. 
divorce, all of that because of what they've done. Somebody here, I'm telling you, they've been hexing and cursing a real twin flame couple with a huge purpose. The penalties, the consequences and repercussions that they're going to face for that, they have no idea. Wow. I, I mean, this is so packed with such a message. I don't even know what to name this. And I'm really glad now that um, I decided to turn the camera on because I wasn't going to share this reading. I wasn't. I have this... Um, the Magic of You Oracle, just sitting here. Let's see what it says. Thank you for those um, who get me decks off of my Amazon wish list. This came from Chris K. I always keep my gift receipts <laughs> whenever I use my Oracle decks. Let's see, cause you are magical. It says here, cutting the deck, alone but not lonely. See, somebody thought that you were an introvert, that you were alone. Wow. Avin War. It says, make peace with your past. Like I said, see, you are healing your family issues. Wow. This says, paradis paradisical. 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 These names, you guys, it's not parent. <laughs> it's very hard. To, I don't know the pronunciation of this, but it says you belong to paradise. What did I say earlier? It's like walking on the gold, gold paved streets of heaven. Liberation. Remember when I was reading the Kipper, we didn't have card number 13, right? But here it is. What you've been missing is liberation, freedom. Let love grow, 14. And honor yourself. This is Nas. It says, feel loved and proud. Be still and allow the enemy to reveal themselves. Look, you have here 12, 13, 14. The 12th, 13th, and the 14th of a month could be significant. And it could be for um, September. September 12th through the 14th could be significant. Your enemies are going to reveal themselves very soon. You need to make peace with your past. Forgive. Honor yourself. Honor your family as well as you heal your relationship with your friends, your family, and especially your parents. It's going to free you because you have some type of issue obstacle challenge or something within your spirit that has been unsettling that the enemy has been using to attack you when you make peace with your past and you free yourself love is going to grow people underestimated you because they thought that you were alone therefore they thought you were lonely but you're surrounded by angels guides protectors and you have here hex be still and allow the enemy to reveal themselves. Yeah, somebody thought that it was easy to hex you because you're the black sheep. They thought that you were just a simp. You were a, a black sheep. Nobody liked you. Nobody loves you. But you were actually, you're the, you're actually the guide. You're the chosen one of your family. So. You may walk alone, but you're always surrounded with angels. And because of the work that you do here in the physical realm and in the spiritual realm, there is nothing that will, they won't allow anything to happen to you. Somebody underestimated you big time. Euphoria. Everything in perfect balance. Look at this. Pause in your journey. I think this is Epoch. You have her seven, eight, nine. You have 12, 13, 14. It's 
something is lining up. And then this is the last serendipity. Merge with the flow. Everything happened for a reason. An epiphany. Reveal your gifts. Have compassion for others. It's all in your head. And it says sacrifice. What can you let go of? These people. Yeah. And then look at their protection. And then detox. Some of you in a past life. You were sacrificed. And these people have been trying to haunt you with your own thoughts that they or memories that they've pulled like from your Akashic records. But Spirit said, don't worry, it's time for you to lead. 